pre-selections for our members are in every state except New South Wales plebiscite, so our members all get a direct say. Um, and I'd certainly like to see plebiscites in New South Wales as well. My call basically is to say in New South Wales it would be a step in the right direction to introduce plebiscites, mm -hmm. but it would be a step in the right direction and they should be doing it as soon as they can. We have a membership in New South Wales that deserves more power, more say in how the party works and who represents them and uh, we, we have been too slow in making that change despite recommendations from many people, many reports, many senior members of the party. When it comes to pre-selections in safe Liberal seats, the Liberal Party is near to a closed shop. Uh, we should not allow it to continue. There are both costs and benefits to the current system, but I'm quite supportive of uh, a broader based system. Mm. And ultimately, what I'd like to see is the whole membership of the Liberal Party in New South Wales have a vote on the Howard Report. It is very difficult under the current structure to open branches. Um, and of course, that's exactly the opposite of what you want in a political party. You want more members, you want more branches, you want more supporters. And uh, I think if we can put power back in the hands of the members so every member gets a vote for their local candidate. These are pretty simple changes. The Victorians have, have put these changes in a number of years ago and they've had a, a large number of very, very good MPs and Senators into the Parliament since those changes. It works. We've seen it in Victoria. This is the absolute opportune time to give every member of the party a say in the pre-selection of our candidates and minimise the potential for the manipulation of pre-selections that uh, no doubt is, is there at the moment. Walter Villatora, the conference president, uh, to, who hasn't just led this conference but has led the fight inside the New South Wales Liberal Party for democracy. And wouldn't it be nice to see a bit of democracy inside our party? Uh, if, 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 if Mike Baird wants it, if Malcolm Turnbull wants it, if John Howard wants it, if Barry O'Farrell wants it, and if Tony Abbott wants it, it surely is good enough for the factional warlords to have it. Yeah!